If you will, bow with me as we pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we're so thankful for the opportunity tonight to approach you in prayer. Father, to come before your great throne of grace and to acknowledge you. Father, we're so thankful for the many blessings you bestow upon us each and every day. Father, for the physical blessings that you give us. But Father, we're so grateful for the spiritual blessings that you give us through Christ. Father, we recognize you as being holy. Father, we recognize your righteousness. We're so thankful, Father, that you love us anyway, despite our sin, despite the things in our life that, that are amiss, Father, that, that you love us enough, Father, to send Jesus to save us. Father, you are worthy of all praise and admonition. Father, you're worthy of glory, and we're just so thankful, Father, that, that you love us. Father, we pray that as we live our lives, Father, that the things that we think and things that we say and the things that we do, Father, will bring you glory. Father, that will give you praise. We're so thankful, Father, that Jesus loved us enough to die for us. And Father, we pray that we'll be in remembrance of that each and every day that we walk on this earth. That we may give you glory through our lives. These blessings we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. I'll be reading from New King James Version, Matthew chapter 7, verses 7 and 8. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and he who seeks finds. And to him who knocks, it will be opened. Number 33. Number 33. When upon life's pillows you are tempest lost, when you are discouraged thinking all is lost, count your many blessings, make them one by one, and it will surprise you what the Let's pray. Lord God Almighty, the only true and living God, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, our God. Father, we come before you thanking you for our physical blessings. Father, we know the things of the earth are yours, Father, and that we are stewards of those things, Father. Uh, you own them all. Father, we ask that you, um, that we be found as good servants and stewards of your creation. Father, may we use these resources 
for the things that you would have us do and they'd be pleasing in your sight. Father, we thank you for the income that enables us to provide for your work in our church and helping our fellow man. Father, we thank you for the income that allows us to provide food and clothing, medicine and shelter for ourselves and our families. Father, we thank you for our families, our friends and our coworkers. Father, please be merciful to them and bless them. Father, we thank you for the farmers and agriculture centers that grow our food, the local industries that provide the good jobs. We pray, also thank you for the transportation and the merchants that provide the goods to us. Father, we pray that you would continue to bless them in our community with economic growth into the future. Father, we also thank you for our education centers, for our teachers and the staff, people that care for our children. Father, they impart knowledge and wisdom to our children that they may be better um, and productive citizens in our community, Father. Father, we'd ask that you'd also bless and be merciful to them. Father, we thank you that we live in a country that has security and health services in the form of our military, our police departments, our fire departments, our medical clinics, and our hospitals. Father, the ones that, they, that provide these services for us, Father, Father, we ask that you bless and be merciful to them. They serve us on a 24-hour basis. Father, we also come to you and thank you that you've, rich, you've blessed us so richly, Father, in the things that we have in material goods and the location in which we live, Father. May we always praise you for giving us and providing for us these areas and things in our lives and where we live. Father, may we take these things that we have, these resources that we have, Father, that we will, um, that will be an example of what Christian servants and Christian um, stewards are. And Father, again, I thank you for all these physical blessings. In your son Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Once again, dear Heavenly Father, we continue in prayer on a night that I hope will be remembered by many for a long time. At this moment, Lord, I would like to come to you in prayer for our spiritual blessings from those that we don't we may not think about every day but are very important father I want to thank you for you who knowingly created us knowingly and willingly gave us away and we still wouldn't do it so you sent your son thank you Lord thank you for Jesus without him we wouldn't have even a church without him we wouldn't have salvation there would be no faith all would be hopeless. But you loved us enough in our sins that you wanted to bless us greatly with his coming for us. So I thank you for that. I want to thank you for the church and what it means to me. And not just to me, but hopefully to everyone here. that it's a great place to remember your promises. 
your statutes, your ways. That we would forget ours sometimes and get our, our minds focused on you. I thank you for that. I thank you for, for forgiveness, God. And it's still through Jesus that we have it. He will never leave us. He will never forsake us. He is our hope, our strength, and our comfort. And I thank you for giving us that. Although we deserve to help, you are giving us a home in heaven which we do not deserve. And one day, we will get to see our Jesus who went through all this for us, who went through our lives the way we should be. So we can see him. I thank you, Lord. And continue, continue just giving us these spiritual blessings day after day and reminding us of those that we would have peace with you and comfort. This prayer I ask in Jesus' name, amen. I will be reading from 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 through 3. I exhort, therefore, that first of all supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior. Please pray with me. Our wonderful Father who art in heaven, the God of heaven and of earth, the Father that looks down upon us, we come to you today with, um, with thankful hearts, with humble hearts, but mostly with a heart of gratitude. We thank you so much that you have looked down upon us, and when we prayed to you, you've listened to our prayers, and you've answered those so many times. We especially at this time want to thank you for the blessings you poured out upon us when we were praying for our loved ones. Thank you for the blessings that you poured out on Cindy Lee, Shirley Harrison, and Kirsten Moody as they had operations to overcome. And as we prayed, you listened and you helped them to get over those things. We thank you for being with the Davis family as they were fighting COVID just a short time ago. But you listened to our prayers once again and helped them through this dread disease. I want to thank you for all that you've done to bless Gene Hester when we've come to you on his behalf. And we thank you so much for him and the many decades he shows of devotion to you. I want to ask that you uh, help us to remember where these come from. As we thank you for the good test results that have come back, we thank you on behalf of Pat Moore and Harper Hodum and myself as we were anxiously waiting the test results to find out what was happening in our bodies. You listened to us, and you answered those prayers. I want to ask that you continue as you always have to do that. And right now we lift up Rhett Martin's name and your, uh, to you. Uh, you have been with him, and you've kept him safe in a very difficult place of the world where war is raging around him, and yet he has been safe. We thank you so much for that. Guide us and keep us to where that we always turn to you when we need you, we always turn to you when we're thankful, and we're always grateful for you being our Father. It's in your Son's name that we pray. Amen.
Let us pray. Now, Heavenly Father, we're thankful for this prayer meeting and all the prayers that are being lifted up to you. And we're thankful for the blessing of prayer <clears throat> that we can reach your throne of grace through our Lord and Savior to be able to ask of our needs and the needs of others. And we pray, Heavenly Father, for our elders, thankful for the work they do here at Liberty, and thankful that they use the Bible for the authority of all the things that we say and do, preach and teach, that we can be the church that our Lord has built and can be used to his glory. We're thankful that they use all of your plan of salvation, that they leave nothing out or add nothing to it. We're thankful for the leadership they provide for us. We're thankful for the help they provide for us and being able to reach our ultimate goal when this life is over. And we thank you for them. And we pray, Heavenly Father, for our deacons and the office they hold in serving the Lord's church and supporting the elders and seeing that all things are done in order that the Lord's church might be able to do the work that you need for it to do to be able to reach lost souls and to strengthen the congregation through their work. And we thank you for them. And we pray, Heavenly Father, for all our teachers and those who teach and preach your word. We know, Heavenly Father, that they're essential for our spiritual growth and well-being. And we're thankful for the years of preparation and study they have made to teach your word. And we're thankful for the many lessons they have been able to teach us over the years that has blessed our lives and made us a better people for our community. But most of all, Heavenly Father, we thank you for the people that they've been able to lead to the Lord through your word that they can be saved. And we know that there's no greater thing that a person can do for another is to lead them to the Lord, to be saved. And we thank you for them and all the work that they do. And we pray, Heavenly Father, for our country, thankful to live in this country where we can follow our faith without interference. And we thank you for our government and all of our leaders. Thankful for our local leaders. Thankful for all they do to help us to live a quiet and peaceful life. And we know that you have asked us to pray for them. And we thank you for them. And we pray, Heavenly Father, for the world government. Pray that we might always be able to find common ground to be able to live together in spite of all our cultural culture and different, different way of living. And we pray, Heavenly Father, that we might always have peace, that we can use the blessings that you have blessed us with. We just thank you for caring. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Number 276. 276. O oh, land of rest for thee, I sigh. When will the moment come when I shall? I 
sought at once my Savior's side no more. My steps have grown. With him I'll break the <clears throat> tide and reach my would bow with me. Our dear Heavenly Father, we're truly grateful for this opportunity that we've had tonight to spend this time in prayer. Father, we know important how important it is for us to plan. Father, tonight we're praying for all the things that we're planning for this upcoming year. Father, we understand as Christians, if, if you allow us to be here and you don't return, the church needs spiritual growth. Father, we also understand that the church needs to understand where we're going to spend eternity. Father, we begin tonight by thanking you for all the leadership that we have here that sees the need to do things, to strengthen all ages of our congregation. We're grateful to all of our members who support all of our young people at Maywood, at CYC, at Lads to Leaders. Father, each one of these events has a designed purpose to provide encouragement, to provide teaching, to provide training. And Father, this congregation understands that great responsibility that we have to instruct and to give them all the opportunities Father, to attend each and every one of these events. Father, we pray tonight as we begin all these plans, help us to plan. But always, Father, allow, let us allow you to direct our footsteps. Help us to under understand, Father, that sometimes when things don't go the way we expect, that you are in control. And you do see the greater picture. Father, we pray that all these events will help us to become stronger Christians, that they'll help us to become more grateful of all the opportunities that we're given here. Help us, Father, not to be anxious about anything, but in all these upcoming events, to always be in prayer. Help us, Lord, to have faith and always to let our request be known to you and know that you are always there and willing to listen to us and help us and guide us. Father, this upcoming year, Brother Lonnie Jones will be here in our spring meeting. Brother Wayne Miller will be here in our summer meeting. Father, we're grateful for these men and these individuals who are willing to give up time away from their home and their families to come here to speak your word and offer encouragement to us. Father, we ask that you bless them in their preparation and in their work that they uh, provide for so many people each and every day. And we pray, Father, that each one of us will be edified throughout each and one of these opportunities and each and one of these events. Father, tonight we pray for our Liberty Lights. Father, there are valued members of our congregation here. And we understand that they're valued members in their kingdom from the examples that they set, from the encouragement and uplifting that they bring through all of the many trips that they go and provide through other gospel meetings to encourage other congregations of your people. Father, we pray that you'll bless their efforts each and every day. Father, tonight also we pray for all of those that are in the mission fields. 
that this congregation supports. Father, those individuals who spend time on foreign soil in dangerous situations from time to time, to share your word with each and every one that they come in contact with. Father, we pray that you'll bless them each and every day of their life, that you'll help us to be always be an encouragement and support them. Father, tonight I pray that all of the events that are scheduled throughout this next year will be successful and they will be fruitful. And Father, we pray that the success of these events will bring forth a change for the better in each one of us. And all these events will create positivity, will make an impact on each and every one of our lives that will help us to carry out your will and your word to each and every person that we come in contact with. Father, we pray that you will bless all of these individuals, that you will bless all of these events. And Father, we pray that they will be successful. And when they're done, we'll give you the honor and glory for it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'll be reading from Ephesians chapter 3, verses 20 through 21 in the English Standard Version. Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all that we ask or think, according to the power at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever. Amen. Dear God and Heavenly Father, we thank you for this church. This church was, is, is perfect in every way, although the people are not always perfect, but they, we have forgiveness through your Son, Jesus Christ. Someday, dear Heavenly Father, the King the bride, the groom, will receive this church back to himself. We pray that we, until then we can give him the glory and honor. We pray, dear Heavenly Father, that in the coming year, the new year, that this church will give praise and honor to you and that we'll have a, a zealous spirit, a spirit according to knowledge. Holy Father, it's possible to be zealous and still be lost, but if we base it upon your word, the, the true word, that all will be right with you. We thank you, dear Heavenly Father, for giving us protection we thank you for this, this country that, that we live in, and we pray that we can do our part to keep it where we can worship you, the true and living God, without being molested from outside forces. We thank you for, for all that, that you do for us. We thank you for your protection. And we pray that we'd have a, a better understanding of you, Lord, that we would have the faith that we need to sustain us. And we pray that we would meditate upon you from the time that we awaken to the time that we go back to bed. We pray that you will be on our, on our minds because that's the only true thing that has value. We thank you, dear Heavenly Father, for your Son, Jesus Christ, who lived perfectly on this earth. We, th we thank you for the way, the scheme of redemption to redeem us back to you, Holy God, through him. And we pray that we do those things 
through faith and obedience to the gospel to return back to you. Holy Father, we pray that you'll always be with us, forgive us of our sins, and we pray that we always acknowledge those things. In your Son, Jesus, holy and righteous name we pray. Amen. What a blessing it is to be able to come before Almighty God as we did this last few minutes. And we gave Him honor and glory. We asked Him for special favors and blessings physically, spiritually. We thanked Him for what He's done by answering our prayers in the past. Ask Him to do more. There's so much we did. We'll work till Jesus comes. So we prayed for that. Uh, we want to do better. And we want God to bless us. And as Lonnie prayed in his prayer just now, this church is perfect. And it is. Why? Because God has made it perfect through the blood of his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. We've been washed in the blood. We've been added to the church. We are children of God. And so we can confidently, assurantly, uh, boldly approach his throne as we did. And uh, give him the glory that he deserves and ask these blessings and, and have hope of the spiritual blessings that we thanked him for. But are you a member of the church? Have you been baptized for the remission of your sins? Are you a child of God? If you're not, then you've had a great exercise here today. You've, you've been able to listen to these prayers, sing the songs, listen to the scripture, and that's a wonderful thing. But not being a child of God, not having that access to God, because Jesus said, no man comes to the Father except through Him. If you haven't been added to the church through the blood of Jesus, then you can't really approach God in the way that God wants you to approach Him. You need to be baptized for the remission of your sins. You need to be added to the church. We can help you with that. If you are a Christian, you have been added to the church by God Himself. You're a child of God, but you're an erring child of God. You haven't been grateful for your physical blessings or for your spiritual blessings. In fact... You might be saying, God won't do anything to me, either good or bad. I am now complacent in my life. If that's us, then let's ask God to forgive us of that. Let's take this opportunity to be prayed for. Don't you need to be prayed for? If you do, why don't you come? Why together we stand and sing the song select?